Louisiana Beer Reviews Live Oak Primus Weizenbach Bavarian Style Wheat Ale. So this is from Live Oak. They said they use traditional brewing methods. So um, if you're into like chocolate, strawberry puree beers and all, this may not be the place to go. It says made in the shade. This was packaged earlier this year. Well, I can't really tell the date. Something. Yeah, it's, I, I, it could have been a month ago, the way it's smudged. Um, <clears throat> so this was given to me by Dustin. Thank you, Dustin. He went on, went on a trip to Texas, so he, he was able to get this. So I'm looking forward to it. There are a couple of video reviews for this, two, or maybe more than a couple, maybe three, at the most four. A lot of written reviews. Beer Advocate saying it's a 94 outstanding, which is fabulous, and... <clears throat> Untap's giving it like a 77, which is very high for Untap. 78, I think, yeah. Something like that, high. The most beers on Untap, they'd be in the 60s somewhere. 3.4 out of 5. Okay, this is going to be dark, like a v like Vitas. I'm putting it in this... Uh, Aventinus Weizen, Star Weizen Stark beer glass from Schneider and Sons. So I, I love these glasses. I got a, a set of four, and I got these years ago at a yard sale, and they weren't a dollar each. They were a dollar for four, <laughs> 25 cents each. So amazing. You get a beige head and a brown appearance. Brown, opaque appearance murky if you want to call it so you got German Bach beers like oh Optimator which is a Doppelbach from Spaten and um Eyinger Celebrator another Doppelbach but the Weizenbox <coughs> or the box made out of wheat wheat beers okay Not a common style in the United States. Aside from Blue Moon, and used to see Shock Top around, it's pretty much faded. But uh, aside from Blue Moon, which is very popular, now there's a new Blue Moon light beer, which I've not yet tried. Yeah, wheat beers aren't really much of a thing around this country. It's spicy coming from the yeast, so it's like a spiced bread, a spiced brown bread, that's a spiced brown wheat bread. Yeah, smells appropriate. Is there any banana or bubble gum in it? <clears throat> maybe a little bit of that, you know, bubble gum. Yeah, and maybe some black bananas after they've totally, the skin has turned almost black and then it's into the banana pudding. Let's go with the taste, cheers. Get a little tap water underneath, typical wheat beer, but <clears throat> spicy brown bread. High, medium, nearly heavy bodied. Mouth feels a little oily. Strange. You say, well, is it cooking oil or extra virgin olive oil? I don't know. Mostly dry finish. So sweetness is here. It's got some sweetness. Let me say, three out of five. I wish the sun would come above that roof line, but it's probably not going to before this video is over. It'll blind me. It's a clear day. <clears throat> Very humid. It's going to be in the mid-90s, or at least in the low 90s, so that's the situation at hand. This might be better for winter in Louisiana. Three out of five sugar cubes. 
bitterness is 12 bitterness units, so uh, one out of five hop cones. There's a lot of birds. I heard coyotes earlier making a racket, howling out in those woods. <clears throat> they roam around. And when the train comes at night and makes the, the blows its uh, horn, they, 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 uh, you hear them yelping in unison. You might hear it sound like dozens of them. All right, anyway, not real relevant to this video but um the score is definitely justified uh they're saying outstanding i would call that most excellent 94 but i agree 94 out of 100 94 most excellent which for me is 93 to 97 you know just like so fabulous outstanding would be 98 to 100 very few beers that i taste in a year if any would be 98 to 100 something that's above perfect above and beyond anything you could ever expect to taste. And I might have had five of those in my life. They would be above 100, better than perfect. Uh, like say, Vi uh, West Flatteran 12 from Belgium, bought a six pack once. With two chalice glasses, kept one, gave one to my friend Paul. It was $85 a six pack. Okay, anyway, so les les bon temps relais, a most excellent ale from Texas, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Austin, Texas, and take a live oak brewery tour.